interesting statistic on that's been coming out for the RTX 1590 where they've been seeing 5% performance drops when running the 3x8 pin power cables. So I've ordered a new power supply for the test bench. I promise you I'm getting that done um, and I'm going to test. So I'm getting one and then I'm going to test with this 5080 and see if the 5080 is having the same performance issues in the bedroom. And if it is, we'll talk about it. But right now, as you can see, early consumers should be aware of the power adapters being used on the 5090 SKUs. Four by eight pin connectors are a must. So here's what's interesting. Okay. And maybe I misunderstood this all the way. You, the, you can use a four by eight pin adapter, which helps, right? So it says that while this is a pretty standard concept, Computer Base has actually tested out NVIDIA's RTX 5090 on a 3x8 pin and 4x8 pin adapters to see how the drop in power figures leads to the performance degradation. Interestingly, supplying 100, watt le 100 watts less power than the optimal number leads to around a 5% drop in rasterized tests. The GPU was tested on 575 watts, 450 watts, and 400 watt TDPs, and it seems like limiting the power supply does not make a noticeable difference, although that is indeed obvious. The interesting part here is that the SKU was functional with a 3-pin connection, but the source says that the GPU didn't work on a 2x8 pin connectors which means that operating the RTX 5090 on 300 watts is no longer an option. <clears throat> now for mining guys, it might actually be better and I'm kind of curious. So I'm going to get one of these two pin and I'm going to put the two pin in on the 5080 and see if we drop the power level down. It might actually be a benefit in a mining scenario is what I'm saying to drop from a four pin to a, a three pin on the 5090 to reduce the power consumption because it's, it's probably core related, not memory related. And another thing we can try is on the 5080, we can go from a three pin to a two pin and see if the power levels come down even further. That would be really cool. Also, I need to test the 16 pins. So I got a lot of things that I'm going to go through and test here. So by having a 4 by 8 pin power connector on board, you are supplying the RTX 5090 with potentially 600 watts of power. And this figure is indeed necessary for hefty AIB variants like the ROG Astral GeForce RTX 5090, which is said to be pretty power hungry unit. NVIDIA providing users the option to run the GPU on 450 watts is indeed a great measure since this way, the company makes sure that not having the right power doesn't affect the functionality of the GPU, but it surely will have an influence on the performance. Since NVIDIA's RTX Blackwell GPUs have dropped into the markets recently, we expect a lot more stories to unfold, with one being the SKU getting bricked due to unknown issues likely associated with the BIOS, the onboard driver for the PCI connection, and make sure you are operating your SKUs at ideal con conditions since after the 12VH PWR fiasco, we can never be sure. Now, I have been hearing some reports on various tech channels that the 5090 has been catching fire at the connector. Um, so be aware of that. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. If you'd like to see more from this particular episode, take a look up here. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me directly, you can go to sonofatech.locals.com and become a member. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next Tuesday.